Test, test, test. Shay, can you bring this up? Bring it up a bit. Bring it up a bit more. Thank you. These are all different colors you're gonna bother me with. That's what kind of look like this. <laughs> These are all different. <laughs> That's really a problem for me. Shabbat Nachamu, Shabbat of Comfort. So we're going to practice the melody a little bit now, and then we'll add some words later.
Cantor Cohen mentioned that this is Shabbat Nachamu and the melody that the nigun that she began with will recur in this service and tomorrow as well as part of the Haftorah. It's called Shabbat Nachamu because of the, the Haftorah from the book of Isaiah where we read Nachamu, Nachamu, Ami, comfort, O oh, comfort my people. And this comes right after Tisha B'Av, the day of commemoration of the destruction of the first and second temple and also all of the the terrible and horrible things that have happened to the Jewish people throughout history. And so it's a time for us to feel comfort in, uh, in faith, comfort in our community, comfort in the words of Torah. This evening is also, or today is also Tuba of, which is um, Jewish Love Day, we'll call it. Uh, the Jew I, want, I don't want to say Jewish St. Valentine's Day because we don't have saints in Judaism and Valentine's Day is a whole other deal. But it's the, it's the day also where um, potential brides and potential grooms would rush out into the fields to find each other. And it is a very, I think, connected thing that after calamity and after tragedy, we have simcha and celebration. It goes probably back farther than Fiddler on the Roof, but it certainly goes to there as well where we say l'chaim, to life. That our response to tragedy is life that our response to tragedy is celebration. And there could be almost no greater celebration, uh, mathematically at least, than three B'nai Mitzvah that we will celebrate uh, tomorrow morning in our synagogue. I've been a rabbi for 22 years. I can count on one hand the times that I have done three B'nai Mitzvah in the same service over the course of that time. And I think this is the first that they have not been triplets. Um, so it says something even more that the families were coordinated enough and loved each other enough that they all wanted to stand on the bima together. And we can thank COVID for allowing us to sort of reshuffle the calendar a little bit to enable us all to be together. And so it is a day of comfort. Nachamu, nachamu, ami, to comfort, oh comfort my people. It is a day of love to be reminded that in the midst of suffering and sorrow, Jewish response has been l'chaim, to life. And with that is a day of celebration, a whole weekend of celebration of a bar mitzvah. I know Rabbi Brown and I have weddings this weekend as well, not our own, but ones that we're officiating. Um, it, is, uh, it is the response to those things. It is l'chaim, to life. We're going to continue on page 121 as we want to invite David and Berna and Heather to come up to lead us in a reading and then the lighting of the Shabbos candles. As these Shabbat candles give light to all who behold them, so may we, by our lives, give light to all who behold us. As, as their, their brightness reminds, reminds us of the generations of Israel who have kindled light, so may we, in our own day, be among those who kindle light. I assure you it's not you. It's happened every week. We have to get new candles. <laughs> How many Jews does it take to light a Shabbos candle? Yay. <laughs> and so we'll wave our arms to bring Shabbos close and cover our eyes. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam Asher kitshanu b'mitzvotav V'tzivanu Lehad likner Lehad likner Shel Shabbat Shabbat Shalom and thank you. So we have so much to celebrate weekend, as the rabbi mentioned, but we're going to start just by bringing in Shabbat, putting ourselves in the Shabbat mindset, leaving behind any stress uh, that you 
had during the week, whether it was making preparations or traveling or work, whatever it was, just let's take a deep breath, leave it all behind. And we actually have a few introductory prayers to, to Shabbat, the Kabbalat Shabbat service that we start with, the words of Psalms to help us in that transition, help us welcome in Shabbat, time to rest, find spiritual peace. Page 130. We'll start with Lechun Neranena. Lechun Neranena Ladonai Naria Letzur
welcoming in the Sabbath. We picture Shabbat as a bride. And so when we get to the last verse, we'll let you know to stand and face the entrance to greet that Sabbath bride. <laughs> the door to greet the Sabbath from. Don't delete that 
Remain standing. We turn to page 263 for Chatzi Kaddish, and as we do, we want to invite the hat trick of a bat of B'nai Mitzvah up to the Bima. So uh, if Hillary and Ben and Eli will join us here on the Bima, come on up to get ready to lead the rest of our service. We'll continue page 263, Chatzi Kaddish. <laughs> Be seated as we continue with this prayer for the evening on page 265, Ma'ariv Aravi. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech Alam Asher Bidvaro Ma'ariv Aravim Bechokma Hoteach Sha'arim Uvit Vuna Meshane Itim Umachalif et Hazma'anim Umsader et Hakochavim Bemish Merotehem Barakia Kirtsono Bore Yum Valila Goleil Orm Mipne Choshech Besh Mipne Or Uma Avir Yom Umevi Lila Uma Dil Bain Yom Uvain Lila Adonai Tsevot Shamo El Chai Vekayam Tami Lim Loch Alenu Leolam Vaed Baruch Ata Adonai Hama Ariv Aravim Altasir mi menu le ola mim baruchata donai. O heva mo Israel. Shema Israel. Adonai Eloheinu. Adonai Ehad. Baruch Shem Kevon Mahuto. Ha 
Ahavta et Adonai Elohecha, Beho Lavavacha, Uhon of Shecha, Uvaho me Odecha, the Hayu Hadvarim Haele, a share Anuhi Metavacha, Hayom Alavavacha, Veshinan Tam Levanecha, Vedibarta. Vashitecha, Bevetecha, Uvlechtecha, Vadere, Uvlechtecha, Uvkumecha, Uksartam Leo, Aliadecha, Ehayu, Vot, Bene Necha, Uftavtam, Almzuzo, Betecha, Uvi Sharecha, Lemar, Tiskeru, Vasitan, Akomitotai, Vitam Kerochim, Lelohechem, Ani Adonai, Lelohechem, Asher Hose Tietem, Meret Mizraim, Viot Lachem, Lelohim, Ani Adonai, Lelohechem, Adonai, Lelohechem, Amen. Continue on page 269 as Ven leads us in the English reading at the bottom of that page. We worship the power that unites the universe, a promise of harmony for all. Yet that oneness is grasped as imperfection, imperfection and evil abound. Before our eyes there is a vision of perfect order and goodness. There is evil enough to break the heart, and there is good enough to exalt the soul. When will redemption come? When we grant everyone what we claim for ourselves. Long ago we escaped the tyranny of Egypt. Our people saw the power of the Most High. We learn God's presence redeems time and events. So we celebrate this power that makes for freedom. Me hamocha ba'elim adonai Me gamocha nedar v'kodesh no rotehilot o sefele malchut echara uvanecha vokea yam lifne moshe umiriam zelian uve ameru adonaim loch leolam laen Benemar ki vadadonai et Yaakov ugealom yad chazak mimenu Baruch atah Adonai ga'al Yisrael We ask for God's presence to shelter us in times of darkness of evening each night on page 271 Hashki Hashkivenu Adonai Eloheinu Leshalom, Leshalom, Vehamidenu Shomreinu Lechaim, Ufros Aleinu Sukkach Lomecha, Ufros Aleinu Sukkach Lomecha, Ah, amen. The bottom of the page. Baruch atah Adonai, ha-ha-pura sukkat shalom, aleinu vel kol amo Yisrael, ve-al Yerushalayim. Page 272. Vesham meru vene Israel et ha Shabbat. La asot et ha Shabbat le dorotam berit olam. Beni uvein bene Israel. Beni uvein bene Israel. Beni uvein bene Israel. Oti le olam, yam berai dai dai, Shabbat Shabbat, yam berai dai dai, Shabbat Shabbat, yam berai dai dai, 
Shabbat 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 Shalom Ki sheshet yamim asa Adonai Et ha-shamayim ve-et ha-aretz Uvayom ha-shvi Shabbat v'inafash Shabbat v'inafash Yam v'ray day day Shabbat Shabbat Yam v'ray day day Shabbat Shabbat Yam v'ray day day Shabbat 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 Shalom I'd everyone to please rise now for the Amidah beginning on page 274 Atagi borle la madonai, mechaye meti mataravli oshia, morid hatal, mechake hayem behesed, mechaye meti berachamim rabim, so mech no flim, berofe holim, uma tira so rim. Umakayem emunato li shenea far. Miha moha bogivu rot. Umido mechla. Malach me meet. Umakaye. Umat me a yeshua. Vene eman atalachayot me team. Baruch ata adonai. Mechake ha me team. Ata kadosh vishim ha kadosh. Ukdoshim behol yom yalalu hasela. Baruch ata adonai ha el ha kadosh. Blessed are you, Adonai, the Holy God. Baruch Ata Adonai Ha'el Hakadosh. Great job, Hillary. Eli and Ben. It's very complicated having three cousins up here, but I love it. It was great. Well done. Yashikoch. Um, so our service continues now as we turn in our Sidurim to page 279 and join together in Ritzay. Ritzay Adonai Eloheinu Ve'amecha Yisrael Tefilatam be'ahavat ekabel U'tehilet atzon Tamid avodat Yisrael Yisrael amecha El karov lechol korav Penei el avadecha vechoneinu Shefoch rochacha aleinu Vetechezein aeneinu Veshuvecha 
to our prayer of gratitude of, of Hoda'a. I know that there are many who are here who haven't been together necessarily in a very long time, that our gratitude at this time, not just for simchas, but for travel. I know that I was speaking to families who were able to travel this summer and see each other for the first time, and families I know who are coming together in Vancouver, and it's been quite some time. So I first want to ask, if anyone is, is here from out of town, if you want to just, first we want to say welcome, and also if you want to share where you've come from in this moment of gratitude to be here together. So if you're here from out of town, share where you're coming from. Welcome from, we're so glad that you're all here from London, England, it's not Ontario, <laughs> glad to have you. And of course, I know the, welcome, yes. You're visiting from Los Angeles, right? Yes, yes. You're visiting from Los Angeles, right? You can come up, sure. <laughs> Just right here from the microphone. Okay, bear with me. I'm wearing a hearing aid. That's why I didn't understand what they're talking about all of a sudden. Okay, I'm just visiting here uh, my uh, niece from uh, Los Angeles. I live in Los Angeles in, in Santa Monica. And uh, I uh, <coughs> practice uh, Orthodox uh, Judaism. And my niece told me, listen, I'm uh, visiting the Reform uh, <laughs> Synagogue, and I would like you to join me. That's what I did. And I come to see and hear what you guys are uh, doing here. I've been in, uh, in a similar synagogue in my, in my state, in, uh, in Santa Monica. It's called, by the way, the, like the name of the book, Mishkan Tefila. And it's right in the main city in Santa Monica. Hopefully, uh, we'll enjoy the Shabbat. Shabbat Shalom. <laughs> Thank you so much. Glad to have you. And I know the Sierra family is from Toronto and the Sunshine Coast. We're glad that you're all together as well. Anyone else from out of town? Good. Well, glad to have you and to express our gratitude for being together and for these family reunions of sorts as well. We join together at the bottom of 280, four lines from the bottom of Al Nisecha Shibachol Yom Imanu for the wonders of each day. Shalom Rav, page 282. Shalom Rav, al Yisrael Amcha, Tassim Le'olam. Shalom Rav, al Yisrael Amcha, Tassim Le'olam. Ki atah umelech adon, lechol hashalom. Ki atah umelech adon, lechol hashalom. 
shalom, shalom rav al Yisrael amcha, tasim le'olam. Shalom rav al Yisrael amcha, tasim le'olam. Betov e'necha levarech et amcha Yisrael, bechol e'necha. Shalom Rav al Yisrael Amcha, Tassim Le'olam. Shalom Rav al Yisrael Amcha, Tassim Le'olam. Tassim Le'olam, Tassim Le'olam. a few moments now for a silent prayer. that we started with way back at the beginning of the service. Add those words that we mentioned, we chant tomorrow, you'll hear Ben chant in the Haftarah portion, words of Isaiah, Nachamu, Nachamu, Ami, comfort, comfort my people. seek comfort and we can also be a source of comfort for one another in particular as we reach out and visit and care for those who are sick and as we share our concern as a community in prayer for healing for all of those who are ill in body and needing healing of body or spirit we think in particular the Shabbat of Sipa Bat Ita Hannah Bild Edward Dodek, Brian Tapley, Pascal Chaim Leeson, Leto and Jay, Mordechai Ben Sara, Alan Pitch, Yona Neri Ben Avraham Vasara, Adele Kirkle, 
Naomi DeZormo, Julian Carney, Eli Pont, Asher Gavriel Ben Mordechai, Yehoshua Vassar Elishev, Riley Tregabov, David Coulter, Apollonia Wilchinski, Paula Freeman, Loretta Atkins, Elena Cobb, Annette Albert, Carla Zivit, Rose Godfrey, Doris Medved, Janet Gelb, Jean Angus, Yehudit Bat Avraham Vassara, Judy Steiner, Lossberg, David Shlomo Gorney, and Andrea Jarzbiak. But if there are other people in your life you are thinking of in need of healing, if you'd like to share their names as well to do so at this time. Join together in our Misha Berach on page 371. <laughs> May thy source of strength who bless the ones before us, help us find the courage to make our lives a blessing, and let us say Amen. those in need of healing with refuah shlema the renewal of body the renewal of spirit and let us say Shabbat shalom, everyone. Just a few announcements uh, before a bit of a drosh this morning, uh, this morning, this evening. Uh, so uh, coming up at Temple Shalom, a number of exciting things remaining in August. Uh, so first of all, next Shabbat, uh, we have our final family Shabbat at Gray's Park. Uh, at 5.30 p.m., bring your own picnic dinner, uh, followed by a, a really fun uh, musical service with our song leader, Annette Kozicki, um, and uh, bring your own dinner and a blanket, and it's a lot of fun. No registration is necessary. Um, our Shalom Shishim, our 60-plus group, uh, has their next gathering. They just had a fantastic one, actually, this past Tuesday, um, and this is very exciting. It'll be a field trip on the 23rd of August at the Vancouver Art Gallery. So they are going to uh, the exhibit the imitation game visual culture in the age of artificial intelligence. Uh, includes lunch at the cafe there. Um, you do need to register and sign up. So if you're interested in that, please make sure you do register. Um, some of you, I'm sure, have heard that there is an urgent need for blood donation, uh, that the, uh, the, the blood bank is uh, in need of, of uh, donors, and Temple Shalom actually has a blood donation team. So if you are able to donate, uh, please do. We encourage you to do so to help save a life. Um, and if you want to do it in the name of our congregation, just let them know when you go to uh, make your uh, reservation. Um, you can even do it through our website uh, to, to streamline that as well. Um, and finally, I just looking forward into the beginning of September, I'll mention and in particular noting that uh, Nico Slobinski is here. Nico, welcome. Nico is the head of CJA, that we are hosting uh, a pre-election town hall here at Temple Shalom um, with CJA and Success um, with all of the mayoral candidates who have been invited. So those who are running for uh, the mayor of Vancouver, this will be on Wednesday, September 7th at 6 p.m. 
Uh, so it's a, a wonderful honor for our congregation to, uh, to host this evening uh, and talking about the key issues for our community, including affordable housing, community safety, fighting racism and hate, access to culturally appropriate services, transportation and accessibility. So all very important issues, uh, which is very exciting. And mazel tov again to Eli and Ben and Hillary and your families on this uh, Shabbat and the Simcha. We're really glad to celebrate with you today and tomorrow as well. So as Rabbi Dan said at the beginning of our service, we have a little overlap here, it's okay. <laughs> uh, today, uh, not tonight as Shabbat, but before sunset was this day, the 15th of Av, this holiday of Tuba Av, this holiday of love. And um, there's not really a lot in our tradition about this date on the calendar. There's a few mentions in rabbinic literature. And the most famous of them is a Mishnah um, that talks about this day under the full moon. Of course, some of you, I'm sure, saw the beautiful moon last night. Um, that, that young Jewish men and women would dress in white and go out and dance in the vineyards and the fields of ancient Judea. Now, love, I mean, it's such a beautiful thing to think that they would go and find each other in this moment, this one day, everyone would find their partner. But, you know, love as an expression in the way in which we meet one another is constantly changing. You know, I, I, Rabbi Dan mentioned that you know, we both have weddings this weekend, and I have all, I, yesterday, I think I met with three wedding couples. It was like, there are so many weddings. I keep saying this, it's the COVID thing. There are all these people who are finally getting married. But the thing that's interesting is that when Sid and I talk to them about what they love about each other and how they met one another, for the most part, actually many, many, many people met online, right? It's kind of the way of our world today. And I think it's an interesting contrast in terms of how we think about how love happens how these encounters happen versus, you know, dancing in the field in white or J-date or whatever it might be. Um, you know, it's quite different. And there was a book that came out of a number of years ago, I think in 2015, called Modern Romance, which looked at just this, this very tension about how the ways of finding a partner have changed, um, in particular in, in really very recent decades. And the way that it was presented in this book was to, to interview elders and talk about how did they find their partners. And this was a very interesting thing. In, in this uh, book, in the, um, the different uh, people that they interviewed, they um, interviewed 36 elders. Uh, this was in the US. And of the 36, 14 of them said they married someone within walking distance of their childhood home. talked about a study from the 1930s in Philadelphia that said one out of 12 people married someone who lived in their same building. One out of three, it was within a five block radius. Within 80 some percent, it was they found their partner within the same city. If you think about that, it's incredible. We fill out these, these um, wedding um, license uh, forms in BC and we have to put the, the name of the couple and their parents and the birthplaces of their parents. And sometimes it strikes me as just incredible that there's, you know, so-and-so was born in Toronto and so-and-so was born in Lithuania and so-and-so was born in Bangladesh. And so it's like, how did this happen in the world that all of these people and all these things came together to create this partnership? They talk in this book about how that shift and that change is not just about technology, and it's not just about the globalization of our world, but in the change of the essence of love. And they compare something they call companionite love or marriage to a marriage with a soulmate. And this idea is how do you meet someone and how do you fall in love? Well, sometimes it seems like things have shifted. So why am I bringing all this up now? And it's not just because of Tuba Av and this holiday of love, but it's because of this week's parasha. This week's parasha, Ve'et Hanan, actually has 
some of the most famous texts of Torah. It has a recitation of the Ten Commandments, and famously, it is where we find the Shema. And the Shema and its following uh, words that continue, in which we are instructed about love. Ve'ahavta, ahava is love. Ve'ahavta et Adonai Elohecha, you shall love Adonai your God. And it's interesting that the Torah doesn't define love, but it commands it, that you must love. And then it tells us how to love God. Bechol levavcha, with all your heart. Bechol nafshecha, with all your soul. Uvechol meodecha. Now, for the ancient Israelite, the heart was actually the seat of intellect. And the soul was the seat of emotion. But what is me'odecha? Bechol me'odecha. Many sidurim, many prayer books translate that word as might, with all of your might. But I think it means more than that. I think it means with your very being, even maybe colloquially with your guts, with all of what you got. We are to love God with our intellect, with our emotions, and with every fiber of our being. So how do we do that, especially if we're not quite sure about how do we think about God and what does this mean to love God in all these different ways? And I think that we can begin by thinking about these concepts of love between God, between us, and how we think about Torah, and how we think about how we love one another and how others love us. My colleague, Rabbi Shira Milgram, points out that the commandment, ve'ahavta, you shall love, occurs only three times in the entire Torah. You shall love your neighbor as yourself, we know is the golden rule from Vayikra, from Leviticus. You shall love the stranger, we hear that over and over again in Torah, and you shall love God as we have here in this parasha. And she writes that even though we have a concept in Torah that there's no kind of necessarily chronological order to everything, that if we think about the way in which they are revealed in Torah, that this order is kind of interesting. It begins, first you shall love your neighbor, then you shall love the stranger, and then you shall love God. And she says that the reason that Torah commands love of people before love of God is to teach us that it's not actually possible to achieve a love of God unless we love others, unless we love other human beings. So back to this modern romance book and the author's recognition that we have moved from a society built on companionite marriage, that is, who you happen to live near and encounter in your inner circle, to a soulmate sort of partnership. So how do we think about that with our connection to God, or maybe even with our connection to Judaism? We kind of take a sense, a, a bit of a, a, a checking in with ourselves. Is our love of God, is our love of Judaism, is it a companionite sort of relationship or a soulmate one? Meaning, what is a Jewish companionite relationship? It's what's maybe easy if you grew up Jewish. It's just what you do. It's where you go. It's how you eat. It's, you know, you, you do holidays this way because everyone else was doing it around you. You sit Shiva for this long because that's what your Zeta did. It's what you do because it's around you. But that, that shift as we think about the way in which relationships have shifted perhaps can teach us something as well. That our love of Judaism, our love of God, shouldn't just be expected or convenient. That it should be, in a sense, a soulmate match. Something deeper, more profound, and importantly, chosen and renewed because of our deep love. You shall love the eternal, your God. You shall love what it is to be a Jew in the world. Not out of convenience, not out of pattern, but transitioning into that world of soulmate matches. Earlier, Rabbi Dan talked about Fiddler on the Roof. You really took all my pieces. It was okay. <laughs> it's different, though. But in Fiddler on the Roof... 
that's where we see this tension between the, the marriage that is expected, the arranged marriage, into the children who were looking for their soulmates and trying to find their own way in the world. If you remember, Tevya, he was so confused, he said to Golda in that song, do you love me, right? He, he couldn't even fathom what it is to fall in love out of that sense of finding a soulmate. And in truth, I think that it's hard for us too. It is a shift in our sense of identity and who we are, but I also think that idea of Judaism and our understanding of how we think about God and our place in the world as a soulmate sort of relationship is what Torah really requires of us, to love God with all of our soul. And as a Jewish people, I think we might all find a more spiritually meaningful Judaism if we allow ourselves to be in that kind of relationship with the Holy One. So when we recite the Shema, whether at home or when we're here in our services, when we say these words, Ve'ahavta et Adonai Elohecha, let's think about how we dwell in our Judaism in the realm of that kind of soulmate love. Shabbat Shalom. We would, we'll turn back into our Sidorim to page 586 now as we rise for Aleinu. Aleinu l'shabeach l'adon hakol, l'atet gedula l'yotze b'reshit, sh'lo ha'sanu k'goye ha'ratzot, v'lo ha'samanu k'mishpechot ha'adama, שלא שם חלקנו כהם וגור עלינו ככל המונם ואנחנו קוראים ומשתחווים ומודים לפני מלך מלכי המלכים הקדוש ברוך הוא שהוא נוטה שמיים ויוסר ארץ ומושב יגרו בשמיים ממעל ושכינת עוזו, שכינת עוזו, בגובי מרומים. הוא אלוהינו אין עוד, אמת מלכנו את מסולתו, קרקעתו ותורתו, ידעת היום, ידעת היום, והשבות אל לבבך. כי אדוני הוא האלוהים בשמיים ממעל. ועל הארץ, ועל הארץ, מתחת אין עוד, אין עוד, ונאלמן, והיה אדוני למלך על כל הארץ, ביום ההוא, ביום ההוא, יהיה אדוני אחד, ושמו, ושמו. Please be seated. A reading before the Mourner's Kaddish, this on page 575. Birth is a beginning and death a destination, and life is a journey. From childhood to maturity and youth to age, from innocence to awareness and ignorance to knowing, from foolishness to discretion and then perhaps to wisdom, from weakness to strength or strength to weakness and often back again, from health to sickness and back we pray to health again, from offense to forgiveness, from loneliness to love, from joy to gratitude, from pain to compassion, from grief to understanding, from fear to faith, from defeat to defeat to defeat, until looking backward or ahead we see that victory lies not at some high place along the way, but in having made the journey, stage by stage, a sacred pilgrimage. Birth is a beginning and death a destination, but life is a journey from birth to death to life everlasting. Amen. Amen. On this Shabbat, we recall those who died during this past week and these past 30 days whose families are in the midst of Shiva and Shloshim, as I read the name of your loved one, if you could please rise and remain standing so that we can comfort you in the midst of our congregation. Brandon Colton, Ryan Markovitz, Carol Schulfler, Irvin Smith, Isabel Somech, Svetlana Sosnova, 
and those for whom the York site, the anniversary of the death of your loved one is on this Shabbat, if you too could rise as I read their name, as we remember them for blessing. Marion Bloom, Dora Brooks, Harry Buller, Elfredi Berger, Arthur Cherry, Joseph Kopovich, Esther Daltrip, Abraham Eisenberg, Annie Feldman, Efren Franiak, Sophie Freeman, Rita Gold, Sarah Goodman, Lillian Gordon, Emma Granovskaya, Johnny Green, Walter Groschler, Raisa Lacrin, Evelyn Cantor, David Katz, Donald Kennedy, Reb Shia Kalimnik, Jenny Klein, Jean Kramer, Edith Mayer, Max Minster, Harold Pollock, Zachary Prince, Joan Rivelis Becker, Peter Rosen, Renee Schwartz, Shifra Siegel, Shirley Shipman, Kevin Simmons, Diane Van Zant, Etta Rose Weinberg, Calvin Warney, Margaret Wellington, Hi Weissman, Mario Witten, David Zack. If there are others who've come to say Kaddish, remember loved ones, names I've missed or mispronounced, if you could rise and share their name in the midst of our congregation as well. We rise now and join those who've risen in mourning so they're not standing alone at this time. We add to those names the names of all those who've died in defense of freedom and justice, victims of terror in this land, the land of Israel, around the world, and those who died in the Shoah and the Holocaust that have no family left to remember them, we recall them for blessing as well. Yit gadal v'yit gadash shemei rabba. Amen. V'yoma divra chirute v'yamlich malchute. B'chayechon of yomechon u'chayei d'chol beit Yisrael ba'agala u'bizman kariv v'imaru. Amen. Yehei shemei rabba mevarach le'olam u'lamei o'maya. Yit barach v'yishtabach v'yitpa'ar v'yitroman v'yitnase. V'yit adar v'yit ale v'yit alal shemei d'kudisha b'rechu. Le'ela min ko birchata v'shirata, tush b'chata v'nechemata, damin ron v'alma v'maru. Amen. All yis... Where are we? Sorry. I lost where I am. Yehei shlama rabba min shemaya, v'chayim aleinu v'yal ko yisrael v'maru. Amen. Osei shalom v'mormav, hu ya'a se shalom aleinu v'yal ko yisrael v'al ko yosh v'tevel v'maru. Amen. May the source of peace and peace to all who mourn, and comfort the read among us, and we say together, Amen. Amen. Sorry, I lost my place there for a moment. Happens. We're going to continue our service with a uh, kiddush and a motzi, and so we want to invite our B'nai Mitzvah to come back to the bima to help lead us in that. Vai <laughs> Baruch Baruch Asher Shabbat Kosho Shabbat Shalom. 
Ruch HaTanai Mekadesh HaBad Amen. Take a sip. Take a sip. We're fine. Okay, you can decide if you want to share It's grape juice. It's okay. <laughs> okay, now we're going to uncover the challah. Oh, there's that. They have it. Okay. Now join together in Motsi. We'll turn to page 625 as our cantor leads us in Adon Olam. Adon Olam, Adem Olam, Veterem Kol, Veterem Kol, Yetzir Nivra, Leit Nasa, Vechetzokol, Azay Melech Shemo Nikra, Adon Olam, Veachade Kiklot Hakol, Levado Imloch Nora, Adon Olam, Vehu Haya, Vehu Hove, Services tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. Torah study is at 8.30 via Zoom. Join us outside, please, for an Oneg sponsored by our B'nai Mitzvah families. And Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom.